As emotive as it was, the storm about the safety of the tetanus vaccine died off following a series of talks between the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops and the Ministry of Health that culminated in the formation of a technical committee that would henceforth be involved in testing all vaccines administered in the country. NASA leader Raila Odinga claims that tests have confirmed the Catholic bishop's fears that the vaccine contains a hormone that causes infertility, threatening to create another storm. But Lancet Kenya, whose report Odinga based his claims on, clarifies that the report proved that the vaccines were in fact safe. It did not show presence of HCG. Actually, to the contrary, it shows a very low reading which is not indicative of presence of HCG. The hormone HCG, doctors explain, is present in every human being's brains and in the reproductive organs, but in insignificant levels. The levels, however, increase in pregnant women every other week as the placenta releases the hormone to help keep the pregnancy. This is the reason why pregnant mothers then do not fall pregnant again, and the argument skeptics now base their claims that the HCG hormone is being secretly administered to girls and women of childbearing age to prevent them from conceiving. Hundreds of thousands of our girls and women aged between 14 and 49 from the fastest growing populations in the country will not have children because of the state-sponsored sterilization that was sold to the country as tetanus vaccination. Theoretically, it is possible, but practically it never works. You need very high doses of HCG to be able to actually elicit antibody response, and these have to be given so often and so repeatedly for them to induce that. But for a lady who is uh, uh, normal, who has HCG in their blood, even if you give them additional HCG, how is that going to cause uh, pregnancy loss? Because you already have HCG. I have HCG, you have HCG. As recommended by the World Health Organization, besides children, every person who suffers an accident involving a cut should receive a tetanus vaccine jab. Girls and women of childbearing age are also included. The reason why they target primarily uh, uh, pregnant women is, or the ones who are about to conceive, or you know that childbearing age, is because those are the ones who are most at risk, because it's neonatal uh, tetanus that is quite lethal you know so a child born with tetanus or who gets tetanus at birth is quite lethal the controversy surrounding the tetanus vaccine it appears will be protracted but doctors fear that this is a dangerous conspiracy that may derail the population from accepting vaccines crucial for disease prevention in this case the deadly tetanus bacteria Sylvia Chabet, Citizen TV Nairobi